you a soda manufacturer that wants better quality control while reduced waste, stay tuned to see how the inline refractometer we produce can help you. The next series of videos will highlight some of the most common applications for our refractometers. So we have a couple of popular sodas over here, and we're going to show you how our inline instrument would be used to measure this product. Again, the instrument's in a static state. We have a sample cup on there, and we will be placing samples on it. This normally would be installed in the process line. This can be either used on like a bottling line to determine what soda you're actually bottling. It also can be used in their base product where they're actually making the syrup for, the, for it to bend together. And then also, again, when they're blending the syrup with the carbonated water to ensure that it's staying at the correct consistency that, so it tastes the same from bottle to bottle. As before, we start with water on there. We're gonna clean that off and we'll start with our first soda. First soda is from a popular company that uses the uh, blue bottling. We place the sample on. We need to allow the time for the uh, light source to adjust for this. And it looks like we're looking at around a 10 brick reading for the blue branded soda brand. We will now try the red blend. So I've placed the red brand onto the sample chamber and we will let it stabilize. Two colas are very similar in their bricks nature. And let's now see about how this citrus color, cola. I now place the citrus brand product onto the sensor and we'll allow it to stabilize. And I'm sure you guys could have guessed, but the citrus flavored soda is a little bit um, sweeter than the two uh, dark cola based products. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little look and another highlight of another product that the uh, refractometer is a great use for, in this case measuring sodas. Uh, generally speaking it's better on the base product where they're actually making the base uh, what they would combine in like fountain drinks or even at the bottling facility when they're making the different varieties of drinks. So thank you again, hopefully you'll tune in for the next one where we highlight another common application for a refractometer.